stomach. <laughs> Hungry lah, cook for the man, then cannot, no time to eat. Today, San Remo has challenged me to make the ultimate pasta feast for Zermatt. I'll be making 7kg of pasta in 5 different Asian fusion flavours. He's coming in about a few hours time, so I think we better get started. It's pasta party time! Time to boil pasta. To start, we're gonna make a spicy gochujang lasagna because it needs to bake in the oven for about 45 minutes. Korean food is pretty popular in Singapore, so I decided to make a Korean style lasagna using gochujang and also kimchi. It will give that nice acidity later. Spice lot, right? Zeme is spice lot, right? <laughs> oh my god, this part is exactly like the, the tomato paste usually when they do bolognese. Spice this gochujang! Wow, that actually smells very good. Really. <laughs> so we just deglaze with soju, but that's optional. You can deglaze with chicken stock, water, uh, beef stock. It's fine. But I like soju. Oh, that looks awesome, eh? Hey! Salt, white pepper. Now we're gonna leave this for a simmer. And then we're gonna make our bechamel. And then we're ready to assemble. The roux. The roux is on fire. Pepper. Done! Now we are ready to assemble. The best part of this lasagna is that we are using this instant lasagna where you don't need to pre-boil it. Just layer, put enough sauce on. And voila, you can get a beautiful lasagna. We're gonna cover and bake this for about 30 minutes and then remove the Whoa. aluminium foil and bake for another 15 minutes until golden brown and crispy. While the lasagna is baking, we're gonna start off with some sauces. Just now we went to Korea, now we go to Japan. A creamy, dreamy miso truffle mushroom sauce that we're gonna pair with linguine, which is a very versatile pasta shape. Creamy miso truffle mushroom linguine sauce. Creamy miso truffle... Ah. Creamy miso truffle mushroom linguine sauce. Creamy miso truffle lang <laughs> Creamy miso <laughs> Creamy miso mushroom truffle sauce linguine. Creamy truffle miso mushroom linguine sauce. Creamy miso truffle mushroom linguine sauce. Cannot, I can't go that fast. <laughs> Creamy miso truffle mushroom linguine sauce. Mushroom party. So today I'm using a combination of three mushrooms. King oyster mushrooms, which I cut into like our oh, hot scallops, shimeji mushrooms, and some shiitake mushrooms. This is some miso that I diluted with some hot water. A bit of pasta water that we saved earlier to lengthen the sauce and thicken it. Truffle paste, seasoned with salt. I'm gonna off the heat and mix. Hungry lah, cook for the man, then cannot, no time to eat. So next up, sawadika. We're moving to Thailand. Thai basil pork with fusilini, so that all that minced pork, that Thai basil will catch onto the grooves of the pasta. Trust me, it's gonna be so good. This one is a bit more agriolio style, where it's a bit more drier, a bit spicy, garlicky. Not as saucy as the other pastas which we are making today. You're gonna break up the pork as much as you can, so that the mince is separated. Fake walk, hey! The difference between Italian basil and Thai basil. Italian basil is a bit more sweet, a bit more green tasting. Thai basil is floral, it's so fragrant. Immediately when you hit it, you can 
smell it. I really think it's the floral part that makes me really, really like it. Fourth sauce of the day. Look at me. Laksa. You put them together. Oh my god. We're gonna use spaghetti with it because the shape is very similar to our local noodles. Let's go. Mesa chela, mesa chela. We're gonna let this simmer for about 15 minutes to let all the flavors come together. Look at that deep red. Now we're gonna blanch the prawns in this thick stock. Prawn today big, yeah. Today I go sing song one by one, pick, hand pick with love. This sauce is done for now. Later we're gonna add in the pasta and it's gonna thicken even more. Fifth and final flavour, the crowd favourite mac and cheese but this time with chilli crunch. This is the saucier kind of mac and cheese and that chilli crunch is just gonna cut through the richness. So this is oil that I've infused overnight with uh, Sichuan peppercorns, garlic, ginger and some spices. So this is the crunch element for the chilli crunch. Pork lard. Dang. Fried shallots. Fried garlic. Sugar. Oh my god, can you smell that? So I'm boiling the pasta from room temperature water so that it will create a slurry later on of that starch which will bind the cheese together which makes it last longer. If not later, everything will clump together. So you can see like there's a thick slurry on the bottom. It's time to add the evaporated milk. Turn off the heat. Jeez. And we're done. It's assembly time. So I'm here, Eddie. <laughs> you ready? Ready to eat? I'm from 8am to now. Yeah, for real, for real. I'm gonna ask him to come and help me. Come, come. Let's go. This is the pakra pao. I love pakra pao. This one I put 10 chili powder, you can? You can. Oh, easy ah? Easy. You want more spicy ah? No, no, no. Easy. <laughs> I'm hungry. Next, mushroom pasta. Ooh, this one smells truffle. What's the pasta? Is it linguine? Linguine. So this is what I smell when I step into your studio. Ah, the, the heavy Oh taste wow, of... okay. This one, the umami, damn solid. I, 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 I'm actually looking forward to this. You know why I put spaghetti for this dish? Why? Because it imitate the huang mian. Yeah, it, it really yeah, does. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like all the thick chunks of those pork. I'm not kidding guys, I'm smelling both laksa and hokkien mee in this thing. I'm very very curious how this is going to work out. Now it's time to plate, I'm very excited. Big plate is here. Let's just start cutting. Okay, let's get stuck in. I'm gonna go for the lasagna first. I've never had a gochujang lasagna all my life. Oh, you had a kimchi. Yeah, kimchi. Big to perfection. A little bit spicy, I like. Chili crunch mac and cheese. This is damn good. Really? No, oh, this is incredible. We should start selling this. Oh, so far, everything is good. Not one thing I don't like. Everything is so flavorful. Like the sauce is really latched onto the pasta. How many variations they have? Uh? Serimos. So total they have 47. Today we are using 5 of it. 47? 47. I go and do you see, I never see 47. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Fusilini. Okay, I don't too much cheese, but I'm eating up. Uh. But it's so good, oh my god. For eating competition, which mm. one you think is the easiest to eat? The mushroom one. It's creamy, it slides down. 
experience In terms before. of shape, I think uh, spaghetti and linguine, this two is, is going to be the easiest to eat. Boss, the, the, the mushroom one is actually starting to grow on me. I'm starting to like it more and more. Which is the hardest shape? Uh? Shape that is a bit odd. Lor. Like the fusellini, right? during a contest, it might not be the best. On something to easy to slide mm. down. Mm. Uh. Guys, basil pork, right? The, the egg cannot be absent uh, in together. Oh, John. 10 out of 10, 10 out of 10 to me. <laughs> and it's a very smart choice uh, to use fusellini. All the minced pork and everything, all the flavor is like latched onto the pasta, to that unique shape of it. Ah, last bite. Bro, today you eat until like very easy ah. Uh. This is damn easy, this is damn short. Sure. Which one is your favourite? Hokkien Mee, Hokkien Mee. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Big thank you to John for cooking up this feast, this pasta feast for me. Pasta la vista! Let's go! Easy sia, yeah. today really eat very fast. What's going on? I'm okay ah. Uh. Uh, this is really damn good ah. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Don't make some more. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah.